prepare to have your minds blown, everybody, as we dive headfirst into the slightly less adorable side of artificial intelligence. Because while AI can help us do some pretty cool things, like, I don't know, write a strongly worded email to your internet provider, it also has a dark side. In this eye-opening video, we're going to peel back the shiny, happy facade of AI and expose the hidden threats lurking beneath. From the rise of robot overlords to the erosion of truth itself, you'll discover why some experts are calling AI the existential threat of our time. Okay, let's start with the scariest thing first, shall we? Imagine a world where machines have the power to decide who lives and who dies. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Because when it comes to AI, nothing screams existential crisis quite like the idea of autonomous weapons. These aren't just any weapons, they're designed to operate without human intervention. We're talking about machines, folks, actual robots, that can make life or death decisions without any squishy, emotional human beings getting in the way. These robots are programmed to assess situations and execute actions based on algorithms. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't this just science fiction? It feels like something straight out of a blockbuster movie, doesn't it? Like, haven't we seen this movie before? The kind where robots rise up and take over the world? And yes, Hollywood does love a good robot uprising. It's a thrilling concept that has captivated audiences for decades. But here's the thing. This isn't some far-off dystopian future we're talking about. The technology is already here, and it's advancing at a rapid pace. This is happening right now. The development of AI-powered weapons is not a distant possibility. It's a present reality. Governments and militaries around the world are pouring billions with a B people into developing AI-powered weapons. The race to create the most advanced autonomous systems is on. We're talking drones that can hunt down targets without human intervention, capable of making split-second decisions in the heat of battle. Autonomous tanks that can fire on their own, navigating through combat zones with precision and efficiency. And even little robot swarms that can infiltrate enemy territory and cause all sorts of mayhem. These swarms can coordinate their actions to overwhelm defenses. And the truly terrifying part? These weapons are designed to learn and adapt, which means they're constantly getting smarter and more deadly. Their ability to evolve makes them unpredictable and highly dangerous. It's like giving a loaded gun to a toddler, except the toddler is a supercomputer with a PhD in destruction. The potential for catastrophic mistakes is enormous. The truth is, handing over the power of life and death to machines is a recipe for disaster. We are treading on dangerous ground and the consequences could be dire. All right, let's move on from killer robots to something a little more insidious, shall we? Something that doesn't just threaten our physical safety, but our very perception of reality. Something that strikes at the very heart of our reality, deep fakes. These aren't just harmless pranks or clever tricks, they are sophisticated tools that can be used to deceive and manipulate on a massive scale. Now, for those of you lucky enough to have never encountered this particular circle of internet hell, let me explain. Deepfakes are a growing menace in the digital age. A deepfake is basically a video or audio recording that has been manipulated using AI to make it look and sound like someone is saying or doing something they never actually said or did. Imagine the implications of this technology in the wrong hands. Think of it like Photoshop on steroids, but instead of just giving someone a digital nose job, you can alter their entire identity. You can make them appear to do things that are completely out of character. You can make them deliver a speech they never gave, potentially altering public opinion or even swaying elections. Sing a song they've never heard, making it seem like they endorse a message or product they know nothing about, or even star in a compromising video they never filmed, which can ruin reputations and lives. And the truly terrifying thing about deepfakes is that they're getting more and more sophisticated every day. The technology is advancing at such a rapid pace that it's becoming increasingly difficult to detect these fabrications. We've seen deepfakes used to spread misinformation during elections, creating chaos and confusion among voters, to harass and discredit journalists and activists, undermining their credibility and silencing their voices, and even to extort money from people by threatening to release compromising videos that don't actually exist. And the scariest part? The victims often have no way to prove their innocence. Most people can't even tell the difference between a real video and a deep fake anymore. The lines between reality and fiction are blurring. This technology is eroding our trust in media, in institutions, and even in our own eyes and ears. We are becoming increasingly skeptical of the information we receive. 
It's creating a world where we can't be sure what's real and what's not. A world where every piece of information is suspect. A world where truth itself is up for grabs. This uncertainty can have profound implications for our society. Because when we can no longer trust what we see and hear, we lose our ability to make informed decisions. How can we possibly make informed decisions about our lives, our communities, or our future? The stakes are incredibly high, and the need for solutions has never been more urgent. Chapter 3. Will Robots Steal Your Job? Spoiler alert, maybe. Okay, so we've covered killer robots and reality-bending deepfakes. Fun times, right? But now, let's talk about something a little closer to home, your job. Because while AI might seem like some abstract, futuristic concept, the truth is, it's already having a very real impact on the job market. And no, I'm not just talking about robots replacing factory workers. Although, that is happening too, and at an alarming rate. But AI is also coming for white-collar jobs, creative jobs, even jobs that require a high level of emotional intelligence. Think about it. How many of your daily tasks could potentially be automated by a sufficiently advanced AI? Answering emails, scheduling meetings, writing reports, analyzing data, even driving a car. These are all tasks that AI is already capable of performing, and in many cases performing better than humans. Now, some people argue that this is a good thing. They say that AI will free us from the drudgery of work, allowing us to pursue our passions and live more fulfilling lives. But let's be real, folks. That's probably not how this is going to play out. Chapter 4. When Algorithms Play God, The Ethics of AI Decision-Making All right, let's shift gears for a moment and talk about something a little more philosophical, shall we? We're diving into the realm where technology meets morality, where lines blur and the stakes are incredibly high. Because while the idea of killer robots and job-stealing AI is certainly terrifying, there's another aspect of this technology that's equally concerning, the ethics of AI decision-making. This isn't just about machines taking over jobs or becoming sentient, it's about the very fabric of our society and how these systems can influence it. Because here's the thing, AI systems are only as good as the data they're trained on. They learn from the information we feed them, and if that information is flawed, the AI's decisions will be flawed too. And unfortunately, a lot of the data that's out there in the world is riddled with bias. This isn't just a minor issue. It's a fundamental problem that can have far-reaching consequences. Whether it's racial bias in criminal justice data, gender bias in hiring practices, or socioeconomic bias in loan applications, the list goes on and on. These biases are not just statistical anomalies. They represent real-world prejudices that get embedded into the algorithms. And when we train AI systems on this biased data, guess what? They inherit our biases. They don't just reflect our prejudices, they amplify them, making the problem even worse. They start making decisions that are not only unfair, but also potentially harmful. These decisions can affect people's lives in ways that are both profound and far-reaching. Let's take the criminal justice system, for example. This is an area where the stakes are incredibly high, and the consequences of biased decisions can be devastating. There are already AI systems being used to predict recidivism rates, which basically means they're trying to predict whether or not someone who's been released from prison is likely to commit another crime. But here's the problem. These systems are often trained on data that's racially biased. So guess what happens? The AI ends up perpetuating these biases. They end up flagging black and brown people as high risk, even when they're no more likely to commit a crime than their white counterparts. This isn't just a theoretical issue. It's a real-world problem with real-world consequences. They end up flagging black and brown people as high risk, even when they're no more likely to commit a crime than their white counterparts. And this can have devastating consequences, leading to longer sentences, harsher parole conditions, and even wrongful convictions. The impact on individuals and their families can be catastrophic. And this can have devastating consequences, leading to longer sentences, harsher parole conditions, and even wrongful convictions. The ethical implications of AI decision-making are vast and complex, and it's something we need to address urgently. Chapter 5, The Robot Apocalypse Fact, Fiction, or Future Headache Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here today, folks. Killer robots, deep fakes, job-stealing AI, algorithmic bias. It's enough to make you want to crawl under your bed and hide until the singularity is over. 
But before we all descend into a collective existential crisis, let's take a moment to talk about the elephant in the room, the robot apocalypse. Because let's be real, when most people think about AI, this is what they think about. They think about Skynet becoming self-aware, HAL 9000 refusing to open the pod bay doors, and armies of robots marching across a post-apocalyptic wasteland, crushing human skulls beneath their metal treads. And hey, I get it. Hollywood has done a bang-up job of convincing us that artificial intelligence is synonymous with our inevitable doom. But is there any truth to these fears? Is it actually possible that one day, our own creations will rise up and overthrow us? Well, the short answer is, maybe. But probably not in the way that you're thinking. Because here's the thing. Most AI experts agree that the real threat from artificial intelligence isn't some malevolent superintelligence that wants to enslave humanity. So, are we all doomed? Maybe, but let's not panic yet. Look, I know what you're thinking. John, that was a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I came here for some lighthearted entertainment, not a crash course in the impending robot apocalypse. And you know what? You're right, it's a lot to process. But here's the thing. We can't afford to ignore these issues any longer. We need to be having these conversations now, while we still have time to shape the future of artificial intelligence. Because the truth is, the future of AI is not written in stone. It's a choose-your-own-adventure story. And we're the ones holding the pen.